Let's start with the seller flow first. Imagine I'm a new seller on the Origin platform. In order to create trust for buyers to transact with me, I want to add identity information to my profile. This allows sellers to know who they are dealing with. Origin uses the ERC-725 identity standard. This is an open standard proposed by Fabian of the Ethereum Foundation. Fabian is also the inventor of the ERC-20 token standard, the MIST browser, and Web3. Using the ERC-725 standard, users can attach third-party identity attestations to their Ethereum wallets. This is intentionally very similar to traditional applications and is an easy-to-use user experience. The goal is to make it as easy as possible for the user. Unlike traditional applications though, the user owns their own data. This means that their identity data can be easily ported to other decentralized applications. For example, the seller will be able to use their identity on a new marketplace built on top of the origin platform. Now let's create an actual listing. Again, the user experience should look very similar to existing applications even if the backend is built on the Ethereum blockchain and IPFS. When I create a listing, the listing metadata is stored as JSON on IPFS and distributed to thousands of nodes across the world. Now I have published my listing to the blockchain and am ready to interact with the buyer. I can now see my listing amongst all the other listings on the marketplace. There's one more step needed so that I can talk to the many interested buyers of my home. I need to be able to communicate and interact with these buyers. At Origin, we've created our own decentralized messaging protocol. This messaging system is built on top of OrbitDB, which itself is built on IPFS. The Origin messaging system is decentralized, secure, and auditable. Here you see the flow from the buyer's perspective. This is a public browser and it is not logged in, as you can see here. And here we see Matt's beautiful prefab home for rent. I see Matt as a verified seller. His phone and email has been verified and the house looks great. But I'm interested to know more about house, so I enable messaging to be able to contact him. Here's me enabling messaging, and instead of contacting with MetaMask, which is not installed here, I'm trying to connect it with my mobile browser. In fact, my mobile wallet on my browser. And here you see the mobile code being, the QR code being scanned in. And I hit approve here to say, link this browser with my mobile app. And also here is the thing that having our own mobile app allows we can do this, uh, the enable messaging, a uh, one step process instead of a two. And here you see me contacting Matt about the house itself. On the left is the buyer browser, and the right is the seller. And here I am writing a message to Matt. And when I hit send, this will send that message through IPF Pub Sub to the seller and buyer browsers. Here you see the browser receiving the messages. Now say for example, if I were to leave the app on my mobile phone and switch to some other app or to browse around my phone. And say that time is when Matt decided to send me a message. When you send that message, it will arrive as a mobile noti push notification to my phone. And when I open that notification, the mobile app will redirect it from the app to the D app on the mobile Safari. Now here, the mobile browser is not currently linked to our mobile wallet. So, ah, here. You'll see it when we open it up. It's not linked to an ETH address. The messaging that I enabled, so we enable it, 
that brings up a QR code and a link that basically opens up our app. We link the mobile browser to our mobile app and approve messaging. And here you go. That browser is now enabled for messaging. And we got a message from Matt. And we can actually talk to and converse with Matt in browser on mobile Safari. And this is, of course, IPFS being used through mobile Safari. You see the message being sent. It's on both the buyer browser and the seller browser because they're all connected. They're all peers on the IPFS network. After receiving a confirmation from Matt, I would like to purchase this rental. As you can see, once you click buy now, it sends a push notification to my mobile wallet. And here is the beautiful home on my mobile wallet and me hitting approve. Now this of course can be done also on mobile Safari in the same way that messaging is done. And here we have a successful purchase of the vacation rental.